The manager of the New York Yankees, Aaron Boone, always nice enough to spend a little time with us. Aaron, how's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm doing good, Aaron. We didn't get a chance to talk a whole lot on the field uh, before the game, but I asked you one thing about Garrett Cole in the clubhouse, and your eyes just lit up. And what you saw this afternoon was obviously pretty special, but just tell me about your impressions overall. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think anytime you, you make the level of commitment that that as an organization we made, um, you know, you, you got to check boxes outside of just being, you know, one of the game's great pitchers and, you know, everything we've heard, everything and getting to know him in the offseason and, um, you know, lend itself to this is this is just a special guy, you know, outside the lines, too. And just the way he engages teammates, the, w the way he engages conversations and wants to talk about um, his craft, but the game, um, he's just been he's been everything we, we could have hoped so far. And, um, and today was another good step uh, towards the regular season for him. Yeah, let's talk about today. You got him into the third inning. What did you like? Uh, just the efficiency. I thought he was really crisp with his fastball stuff again was good. Um, you know, coming off his, his first start where he went one inning and that was coming out of a live batting practice where he went basically two innings. So, um, you know, the, the stuff didn't st uh, tick down at all. Uh, you know, I thought his secondary pitches, especially the slider that he finished that lefty with, you know, look, looked really, really efficient. You know, he was only going to go two pitches or two innings today and, you know, 30, 35 pitches, but he was so efficient in those first two innings. Um, kind of decided to send him back out. We're going to send him back out for a batter, and it, there was a one pitch, so so we gave him even one more. So um, just just really good. And, and, and the fastball life and command, um, I thought it looked like it was really good today. Yeah, I'm following him up, Aaron. Uh, Luis Sessa kind of lost in the shuffle. It looked like he had good stuff today, and I know he was so good in the bullpen for yeah. you. Kind of established himself, especially in the second half of last year. Do you... I know. Are you comfortable with him in that role, or do you still see him in the mix as potentially, you know, filling in some starts for you? Yeah, we're, I mean, you know, especially early, you know, there's a chance we're going to need some starts from guys. So, I think he could potentially push himself into that mix. We'll kind of build him up from a pitch count. Sess was going to go two innings today as well, with with Garrett spilling over into the third. He ends up going an inning in the third, was real efficient. So it, he's actually going to go throw probably another 15 pitches in the bullpen just to um, get him up to 30, 35 pitches as well today. So we'll build him up with that potential in mind because we feel like you know, you know, Sess can be a, a valuable in a lot of different roles for him. If we need him to start a game, if we need him to open something, we need him to give him le us length out of out of the bullpen, or or in certain scenarios where where he becomes a higher leverage guy if we're staying away from somebody. Um, thought he was really efficient today as well. Aaron, let's switch gears a little bit. Your right fielder has been uh, a little banged up early in camp. Can you give us an idea of where Aaron Judge is? Any updates? Uh, I, no updates. Um, you know, just you know, going through some testing and, um, you know, still a little banged up. So uh, we're, we're trying to kind of get, get some answers and get to the bottom of everything. And hopefully, uh, you know, it won't be too long. Yeah, it, obviously it affects everything with the Giancarlo Stanton and now Aaron Judge and the whole roster construction and the 26th man and the whole outfield depth situation. I mean, that, that's got to impact you on your choice making down the road, whether that's Tyler Wade who can be versatile or Miguel Andujar's bat speeds, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Looking pretty good. That rocket he hit the last inning, that's probably the, the thing that jumps out the most and getting him up to speed as quickly as possible, especially now probably is, is it become paramount in your mind yeah and and, and Maggie's really taken to the outfield so far you know he's 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 been working at it now for probably about four or five weeks now going back a few weeks before spring training started um, and the early returns have been really good he's 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 taken to it he's he's looked you know fluid and natural out there and now he's getting some game experience um, there's that auto slider um, getting that game experience that you know he's kind of keeps passing all the tests so far and, and he's like being out there so if he can give us that option that would be that would be huge too as, as we just create a little bit more versatility especially as we're a little banged up.
You know, Aaron, we, we always come down to spring training and there are opportunities that kind of present themselves for certain players. Judge is down, Stanton is down. Now a guy like Clint Frazier gets off to a good start and maybe sees that there might be a chance to make this roster. I just noticed batting cleanup today in the split squad, one for one with a double already. So what have you seen from Frazier early on? Clint's been really, really good. I mean, you know, his, his, uh, his focus, his work, um, you know, he continues to work really hard on his defense and I feel like continues to make strides in that area. But just his at-bat quality here early on in spring, his at-bats, you know, in the backfield, just just how the, the concentration and the focus and the professionalism, I feel like it's been really good with, with Clint and, and we're excited about what, what he can do for us. You know, obviously he played a big role for us last year um, at, at different times of the year. When, when guys were down and he got his opportunity. So we know we have a, a very talented player and, and we certainly like where he's at right now at this point in camp. Is, is that really all it comes down to with Frazier is the growth in the outfield? I mean, you know he can swing the bat. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just growing at the whole part of the game. I mean, he, you know, as, as much as obviously the, the defense got a lot of attention last year and I know with the, the game and the, post game and not talking to the media and stuff. The thing is, if, if you really kind of strip your emotion away from it, he did a lot of good things, even defensively at last year in the outfield. And there was growth. And we're talking about a player that has a lot of ability, a lot of athleticism, a lot of talent to be very good out there. You know, he runs well. He throws really well. He works hard at it. And, you know, we, we've seen some bumps along the way that have been, you know, kind of talking points for people. But we've also, when you strip the emotion, we've seen some, some extended periods where he's actually been very good out there. And we continue to see that growth. Comes to 2-2 from Adovino. That big breaking ball misses down and away. Got a chance to sneak one more in, Aaron. And, you know, every year there's a surprise in camp. And, you know, the Yankees, obviously, and Brian Cashman, the whole entire uh, front office has done great jobs of finding players. Is there a sleeper that you've seen so far? I know it's early, but anybody that jumps out at you? Well, I think a lot of our, our pitching now is starting to jump out. That that 15 to 30 in camp, you know, on the depth chart, if you will, like those guys are starting to be really eye-opening and exciting like you know we've been hearing about a lot of these guys in the lower minor leagues and, and now those guys are, are on the 40-man roster or at their first spring training and they jump out at you I mean there's there's a lot of guys that you can really dream on and, and get excited about and probably have very bright futures um, you know I, I, I take a guy in this game uh, Roselle Herrera at third base for us who can kind of play everywhere on the field he's he's been really solid here um, in his first game action these first handful of games just swinging the bat he's a switch hitter he's played well on the left side of the the infield for us he's gonna play the outfield tomorrow so he's been a guy that um, I think has done a really nice job here early in camp. Well, Aaron, we're going to let you go. We thank you for your time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right, guys, thanks.